Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shailene and today we are doing the mid-year freakout tag. I have seen this tag going around absolutely everywhere on booktube and as it's my first year I really wanted to make the tag so let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. Question number one, the best book you've read so far in 2019. I couldn't choose just one book, who could? So it's kind of a tie, but I like one slightly more than the other, but I also like them for separate reasons, so it's really hard to choose. So one of the first that I read this year that I really fell in love with was The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh. This is a story set in a near future in kind of a post-apocalyptic dystopian world where women are raised to fear men. The reason why I love this book so much is just because it's such a beautifully written book. It's so prosy but it's also so eerie and atmospheric and it was just a wonderful reading experience. I, I enjoyed reading this book so much. And I highly recommend you to go and pick it up and read it. It's so good. And my other choice for this question is Recursion by Blake Crouch. I read this in June and it's definitely probably one of my favorite books of all time. <laughs> Same as The Water Cure. Um, but God. Mm, this book is just so good. Okay, so Recursion basically follows a New York detective. His name is Barry while he is basically investigating this here suicide of a woman with FMS or false memory syndrome. FMS is supposed to be this here contagious disease, although the CDC do doesn't exactly know what it is. And alternatively, we have Helena, a scientist who is building this here kind of memory chair that can map the memories of people, specifically people with Alzheimer's like her mom. So, she makes this chair that can map memories and unknowingly she creates a technology in which you can go back to a certain memory and relive your life over again. So the technology gets into the hands of the wrong person and things go haywire. It's a crazy, crazy good book. Oh my god, it's amazing. So I highly recommend you. To pick up Recursion if you haven't yet, I personally read an arc of this so I still need to get my hands on a physical copy that I will probably treasure for a very long time. So question number two, the best sequel you've read so far in 2019. I've only read one sequel in 2019 so far but I did end up really enjoying it. This will be The Family Secret by Terry Lynn Thomas. The author actually reached out to me on Instagram and offered me a free copy of the book, which I was like, hell yeah. So I took the copy <laughs> and I read it as quick as I could. And it, <sighs> this book is so good. It's just one of those series that makes you feel really good and all kinds of things. And it kind of gives me the same feeling as I get when I read Anna Green Gable. So basically the story is about Cat Carlisle and her kind of boyfriend Thomas as they move back to Cat's hometown to escape uh, London and the following blitz that will probably happen. They go back to Cat's hometown where she discovers that her childhood best friend is kind of the main suspect in a murder investigation but Cat is strong in her feelings that her best friend didn't do it. So she kind of uh, uncovers who the murderer is and um, the greater mystery that's going on with the town and it's just such a great read. It was a good sequel and I'm hoping that there will be a third book because it was just fantastic. So number three, a new release you haven't read yet but want to. Um, I could say so many. If I'm thinking about releases that are out right now, I'm pretty excited to read The Reality Bubble by Zaya Tong. This, as far as I know, is a non-fiction book about time and our relationship with time and basically how it works. It's like kind of like theoretical physics and stuff like that. So I'm quite interested in reading this because I just love sciencey stuff and 
it seems like a pretty good read with some interesting topics. So number four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I have two books that I'm super excited for and there is more. I should honestly make an anticipated releases for the second half of the year kind of video. The first one is The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young. I don't know a whole lot about this. Um, all I know is that it has to do with the ocean and I believe kind of like mythology. That's pretty much all I know. But the cover is bomb. I tried to request an arc for it. I was declined. <laughs> My heart is broken. <laughs> um, so yeah. The other book that I'm really excited for is a nonfiction book. This is Archaeology. Uh, from Space by Sarah Parkak. This woman is amazing and she has pretty much revolutionized the way that archaeologists do archaeology. This is about using satellite technology to identify archaeological sites around the world and how she has used this technology to discover new sites in Egypt and other places. So I'm really excited for this one if you guys don't know like I love love anything to do with Egyptology and archaeology so yeah I'm really excited for this again I requested an article of this on NetGalley I have not been approved nor declined yet so I'm kind of in limbo and I'm hoping I'll be approved for it at some point <laughs> if not obviously I'll be buying it <laughs> and number five biggest disappointment okay <sighs> a lot of you are probably going to hate me for this but I will explain why I was really disappointed by it and it's kind of a stupid reason but The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid I know a lot of you are probably exiting out of the video now and unsubscribing but the reason why I was disappointed by this book is because everybody had hyped this book up a lot of people had said it was their favorite book of the year and it was perfect five stars I read it I really enjoyed it but it wasn't a five star and there's just something missing that didn't make it a five star so I got caught up in the hype machine and I was left a bit disappointed that I didn't like the book and now I really really try to not have a book really hyped up in my head and go in with high expectations. I kind of now know to you know not do that because you might be disappointed. It's still a good book and I still really enjoyed it. I really love the writing and I thought it was a really good book but it just it wasn't a favorite for me. So yeah. <laughs> and number six is biggest surprise. So I was really surprised by The Lighthouse Keepers by Abby Jenny. Uh, so basically this book is about a photographer who goes to the Farallon Islands to capture the wildlife. She has a pretty sad backstory. Um, and while she is on the Farallon Islands living with the biologist in this little tiny house that's really old, bad things happen. A few people are murdered and killed and I did not expect to love this book as much as I did because it was a very slow read but it was the perfect amount of slowness and just atmospheric and eerie and oh my god it was so good I ended up really loving it I think I read it like a four star like I I really loved this book and it's one of my favorite atmospheric books number seven favorite new author debut or new to you so I have two for this and <laughs> They're, you know, my two favorite books that I read this year. There's actually probably a few more authors that I discovered that I really like their writing, but these are just like the two that stick out in my mind that I'm really excited for any other books they have, and I just want to devour them. So obviously, Sophie McIntosh, she's writing a new book now, 
I don't know when it's gonna be out, but once I know it's out, I definitely will be getting it. Because I just, oh man, I love this book. I loved her writing and I'm excited to see what she does next. And of course, my other favorite author now is Blake Crouch. I don't think I will ever shut up about him now. <laughs> Recursion was amazing. I have Dark Matter. I'm going to read that soon. I'm probably going to be blown away. My brain's going to be messed up. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm definitely going to be adding the Wayward Pine series to my TBR and I'm going to hunt those books down and get them and read them and hopefully love them. Because, oh my god. <laughs> Number eight, newest fictional crush. I don't have one. I scoured my Goodreads list for all the books I've read this year thus far and I don't have one. <laughs> Number nine, newest favorite character, uh, hands down, Cat Carlisle. Like, I am obsessed with this series now and I just, I love these books by Terry Lynn Thomas. I will definitely be purchasing the other ones in the series whenever there are new ones released <laughs> because it's just... They're such good books and I just, oh, they, they're just, I feel, they make me feel fuzzy and warm and calm and content and they're just such a good relaxing read and I just really love them and I really love her character. She's such a strong female character. She's, oh, she's amazing. I just, yeah. Number 10, a book that made you cry. So I actually have two books for this. Um, the first one being The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I cried like three times throughout that book. It was very, very sad and very emotional and such a good book. It's definitely one of my favorite YA books. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet. Another one that I cried <laughs> while reading was actually very, very recently. I just finished it yesterday. And that is When Jack by Joseph Boyden. This is the story of a young Ojibwe boy who escapes his residential school and tries to make his way home. But this is based off of a true story. So uh, the boy doesn't make it home and he... It's not really a spoiler because you know the story then you know what happens but he dies and it's just it's heartbreaking and heart-wrenching and yeah um i cried <sighs> it's a tough subject to read about without a doubt i knew i was going to cry going into this book because i just i knew it and it's it's like a short story too so it's not like a long one it's really short and quick but still you cry <laughs> number 11 a book that made you happy because I don't want to mention uh, Cat Carlisle again, I will talk about Cocaine Blues by uh, Carrie Greenwood. I have these series on DVD, Miss Fisher Murders Mysteries. They're amazing. The books are equally as good. I had a great time while reading this. They're really short. But yeah, I mean, Franny Fisher's just awesome. I really loved it. Number 12, most beautiful book you bought this year or received. So this is a toss up. So when I think beautiful books, I automatically think like covers and artwork and all that kind of stuff. So I got three that I like love. So the first being The Water Cure, probably like my favorite cover for a book. Oh my God, it's just so, gorgeous. I very painstakingly took an Instagram photo for this and I love the Instagram photo. I will insert it here because <laughs> I love it so much. Um, other one that I really love is Circe. I love this cover. Um, a lot of people actually don't like this cover but I love it. It's obviously very Greek. I love the shiny reflective. I just, oh man. It's very, very pretty, very aesthetically pleasing. The last one is a graphic novel. This is Light Skin and Earth. I just love this for the art artwork. Like, even with the dust jacket off, like, the book is still aesthetically pleasing. The pale pink and the symbols and then the artwork is just stunning. I mean, just look at that. It's so beautiful. It's such a wonderful book and... Yeah, uh, in love with it. 
hundred percent. And number 13, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Well, obviously I need to finish up reading all of my arcs that I have, but um, I just, I want to get to so many books. I want to complete my 19 books I want to read this year list and hopefully my classic list, which <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to complete the classics list and some of the books on my 19 books want to read 2019 list either. But honestly, I just want to get to as many books as I can. I'm currently crushing my goal of reading 50 books a year. I'm currently at like 39, so I'm doing pretty good. And I might get like 80 books read by the end of the year maybe even 100 that would be pretty darn cool so that is the end of the tag so yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please let me know you can go ahead and give it a like and you can um, you can subscribe i'll put my instagram my goodreads and my twitter in the description below so you can go ahead and follow me there and i hope to see you guys next time bye